Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie. You new here, love the Bengals. You already know what to do. If you got stripes, man, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already here, you already know what to do. Notification squad. Uh, but <clears throat> today I want to talk about a possible transaction or why the Bengals should or shouldn't go for a man by the name of Eric Flowers, right? And Eric Flowers has basically been Cedric Obwehi for the Giants. That's the best way that I can describe it because I got a lot of hits on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, at New Stripe City, same for Instagram. Uh, but a lot of people ask me, you know, should we go after Eric Flowers? I got the notification when I was at work today. I thought about it myself, too. Um, Eric Flowers is an interesting case for the Giants because he basically had a good year for them initially, his rookie season, and just hasn't rebounded to that. Uh, they actually went after Nate Soder because they put Flowers at left tackle, which in, in uh, college, if I'm not mistaken, most people in coming into the draft, most people thought that he was a guard. Uh, but they put him at left tackle. He did not work out well there. He actually started with Bobby Hart on the line. And uh, he ended up basically getting benched this season. Uh, uh, he moved over to the right side after they ended up signing free agent Nate Soldier from the Patriots. And it was just a weird, a weird thing because the Giants basically tried to keep him away from the facility. There was a lot of drama <clears throat> involved. They didn't pick up his fifth year option, which lets you know automatically what they think of Eric Flowers. Now, I did my research. I looked at Pro Football Focus, and his grades, believe it or not, aren't terrible. They're not like Bobby Hart terrible, or they're not Cedric Obwehi terrible. So I think that there is some potential here, and the fact that he doesn't make too much money. I think would definitely intrigue the Bengals, but I'm not sure how likely it is because I looked at Frank Pollock's uh, history with the Cowboys. They never worked uh, Eric Flowers out. The Bengals never worked him out. So it would really just be something where they feel like if we need to add death, that would just really mean that they think Cedric boy he is trash. Uh, but... He has had some bad, rough games, obviously, as you can see here, but his pass blocking hasn't really been too bad in recent years. You look at 2017 and 2016, uh, and then you look at him overall, he hasn't been too bad. Uh, but I think that the Bengals could look at him, but I don't think that it's very likely. Uh, the Giants are saying that they're either going to cut or trade him. I think the Bengals are interested if he gets cut. I'm not sure if they trade a pick. And if you do trade a pick, I think it has to be like a seventh rounder. Uh, but as usual, let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll leave you with a who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday.